How are we doing? Taylor here from Taylor's Kitchen. Um, got a side dish for you. Well, is it a side dish or is it a main meal? We're not sure. I'm going to do cauliflower cheese, a little bit of bacon. So, you can have this for a Sunday. Sunday meal, fantastic. Oh, loads of roast potatoes and meat. Or midweek, if you've had it already and it's gone cold and it's in the fridge, uh, it's great to pep up for the meal of the week and it's so easy to do. So, I'll show you how to do it really quick. Let's get a knife. And we'll get some bacon on because we're going to do it with bacon. We're going to have... Cauliflower cheese with break, bacon. Cauliflower cheese with bacon sprinkles. So I'll get these on straight away and then we can get those cooking and then we can get into the other side of it. It's a really nice, easy meal and you can eat it hot or cold. I don't think we've done it before. Um, and I'll show you how to make from scratch the cauliflower cheese, which is, again, very easy. Uh, don't buy a packet one, make it, it's, it's simple really is. You need a bay leaf, a little bit of onion, not too much, and uh, you're away. So what I'll do with the bacon, I'll get the bacon cooking. It can be nice and crispy, and then we'll uh, actually get on with the cheese sauce. Uh, three cheeses. So Cheshire, cheddar, and a little bit of Lancashire. And the easiest way to, uh, to make it it's a pop it into a food processor, believe it or not. So we can chop it up, small, bit of cheese, taste that. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Bit of cheese into there. Let's put some Cheshire in. Get as strong as you can, strong as you can. Tastes fantastic. My favorite word, fantastic. So we got some Cheshire, Cheshire in there, a bit more. A bit more Cheshire. Here we go. Or rather, that was cheddar. That was cheddar. My mistake. This is your Cheshire. So you've got like a bit of a tang, so you've got your uh, your cheddar taste, which makes it all gooey and yummy. Um, but you've also got that uh, cheddar, Cheshire. Cheshire taste, which um, is really, really nice. So, a little bit of onion. Again, not a great deal. Just not a great deal. You just want a hint of onion, that's all you want. A hint of onion. A little bit of milk. Put the milk there. I'm going to put the top on. Like that. Well, you'll see in a minute why, why I do it like this. It's really easy to mix up into the pan. Oh, fantastic. So that's going to be a lot easier than actually grating your cheese, put it into the milk, keep stirring and stirring and stirring. Half of it's done. Okay, keep stirring the butter. And a couple of bay leaves are needed. Get some great flavour. Well, three. These are only small, so we'll give it three. Sorry, bay leaves. In our butter. There we go. I don't get any, any lumps or, or whatever. Where's my doodog on? Milk. Now this is the bit you've got to be careful of because what you don't want it to do is to catch on the bottom. So let's put our milk in. There we are, that's our milk in. We'll slowly bring it up to the boil. Stirring all the time. And that's my little one, that's the one I wanted. And then what we can do now is take all the cheese that we added with the other part of the milk and we can add it to this, which is, uh, it saves putting lots and lots and lots of cheese 
into the mix and then having to try and constantly make sure that it's all dissolved whereas this way it's half we're halfway there at the bottom so halfway there okay yeah, there we go two lots of food your cauliflower and I put some broccoli in this one which is okay um, here's our bacon bits from before so I'll put some of those on I've already put some at the bottom of these so and then what we can do we can stick them sprinkle them on just at the end when they come out of the grill there we are oh, very nice very nice mmm our cheese sauce which has cooled down and you just need to extract the bay leaves look at that wow extract the bay leaves because uh, you don't want to be chomping on them that's for sure <laughs> and I have done under the salamander for about 10 minutes there's our cauliflower cheese. I got some fresh chives out of the garden. A few fresh chives on out of the garden. A little bit more of the bacon over the top. A bit more chives over the top. And a little tiny pinch of paprika. There you go. Let's move this out of the way. Let me see if I can. Pick it up without burning myself. Dee -dee -dee. That should be about right on the overhead. There we go. Just have a look at that. Juicy hot and great for a midweek or for weekend. How cool is that? How easy is that to do? So more to come. Uh, all the herbs we get from the garden. That way, as you look at me. Um, so during the course of summer we'll be cooking with the herbs out of the garden, the potatoes, new potatoes soon, ooh, in about a month's time. Uh, check out the website, check out the uh, advancedmedical-uk as well, that site, that gives you all the, uh, the stuff that you can use for, for healing yourself and I'll be back next time. Taylor Cooks, take care.